All right, so it's been a long time since I did an unboxing. I apologize, I've been traveling and then there was problems with the shipment. They were supposed to get me the August crate and they got me the July one instead, but I hadn't done July so that was, it actually worked out very good. Um, but here we are in the July crate. And what, what do we got here today? It is apparently lucky treat day. What is this? So today, we're gonna be doing it a little bit different, I think. We're gonna be probably going and unboxing and tasting all in one fell swoop. See how that goes. This might actually be one of my last unboxing videos for Tokyo Treat, but uh, I've enjoyed it and I hope you guys still like it. Nothing says children like pills. We've got fortune telling chocolate pills. Dashi, Dagashi Kashi. So this is from um, that anime, I assume, but I don't know what it's all about. Feeling under the weather? A dose of these delicious, colorful chocolate pills. Take them. <laughs> this is sort of weird. I mean, they've been trying to sell children pills for a very, very, very long time. They're just little pellets, really, more than anything. And they taste like uh, M&M's more than anything too, which is kind of, kind of nice. Like a combination of an M&M, maybe like one of those Easter egg type things um, with a hard shell to it. It's got a hard crunchy shell. It's like an M&M more than anything I've ever had. But they come in like little pill form, which is sort of off-putting to me as an adult. But to a kid, you know, who cares, right? So, yeah, it's good. Pretty good. Can't go wrong with M&M's. Now, as a lot of you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of Pokemon. I don't know anything about Pokemon, really, apart from like the original red and blue version, uh, apart from the original animated series. This says that it's a Pokemon gummy, and uh, it's packed with a cute, packed in a cute Pokemon packaging, comes with three deli delicious flavors, pineapple, grape, and peach. So as always, the Japanese love their pineapple and their grape and their peach. Almost all of the little gummy flavors that you can get in Japan are one of those three. And uh, they are as such. They look like little, um, like what you would put under a table to balance the legs when it's a wobbly table. But it's going to be, uh, probably, what is this one? Is this pineapple? Grape? This must be grape because it's sort of, but then this one's purple. No. What? It's like purple underneath, like, I, I'm looking at the monitor, because, like, it's very green, and then it's, like, really purple. It's weird. Is this... What material is this? Mmm. It's good, though. <laughs> Actually, really good. It's like a fruit snack. Um, but really, really flavorful. I almost choked right on it. That wouldn't have uh, really been very good for the camera. Um, but they're very good. Like, actually, they taste very nice. I've had fruit snacks and other gummy things from these Japan crates and Tokyo treats and so on before. And this is one of the best ones, if I had to choose. Milk flavored potato chips. Milk flavored. There's a big tall glass of milk right on it. And um, that's really all that it says. It's just milk flavored. Um, on the back, there's this weird... I don't know what he's up to. What is he even? He's like, he has a tree on his hat. Is he a witch? He's got a little bow tie. I don't know. I don't know what he's, what he's doing, but let's try it. Let's try milk flavored chips. They don't smell like anything. They smell like just a normal potato chip to me. Let's try a smaller one so that we don't have like a huge mouthful. Um, okay, so here it is. Just an ordinary chip. Smells like an ordinary chip. Hmm. Tastes like an ordinary chip. If, like you could have just not even included the word milk on here at all. A classic to any Japanese or Asian market run is uh, shrimp chips or shrimp crackers in this case. Uh, they got little uh, husband and wife fishing, I assume, and. Uh, yeah, what can I say? Ebi chips are very popular in Japan and in all across Asia. Tastes like every other one that I've ever had. 
Um, a very strong, shrimpy, fishy taste to it. Mmm. These are definitely better than the milk chips, though. Way better. We also have, for some reason, Brazilian orange. Maybe, um... I don't know why the Brazilian one. Is there a reason why it's Brazilian? We're taking you on a mini trip to Brazil with Pocky's newest exclusive edition for this summer season. As expected, they are orange in color. I don't know if it's still chocolate or not. Mm hmm If you've ever had those chocolate oranges that you smash and then eat the chocolate, um, it tastes very much like that, except it's on a little stick. So that's um, actually kind of a win. I really like these. Um, I'm a huge fan of orange flavored stuff. And uh, the Pocky Brazilian Orange is going to be a favorite Pocky of mine, for sure. Okay, we've got the um, Mochi. Mochi Mochi Kanako. Mochi Mochi Kanako. Uh, which I guess is just another soy flavored mochi ball thing, which I'm never a fan of mochi. It's got that weird, almost snotty kind of texture to it. But it's a DIY kit, so, you know, I'm inclined to actually do it. It looks like we just kind of mix the flavors together and go. I'm going to try it. It comes with two weird, like, gel packs, as opposed to, like, coming with powders that you mix water into. It comes with gel packs, like it's pre-mixed or something. It's really... <laughs> I'm concerned already. Bleh. <laughs> oh, this is going to go in... Oh, God. I will be sick for the rest of the day for you guys. For you... Look! Look at this! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. It's so nasty already. It's got to be... Oh, man. Kids like it, right? And then they got the uh, soy flour stuff, which is just kind of like a powdery... Um, I, it's just a powder, really. Let's mix that in. Oh, I got it everywhere. Okay, we'll try some of the pink one first. Because there were two different kinds of packs. There was a pink one and a white one. So, here's the pink one first. Mmm. It's weird. The, um, the powder is really, really strong. And the... The gelatin itself is very, very mild and weak, and not springy, like a gummy, like normal mochi would be. So it kind of just tastes like I just ate um, uh, water with powder in it, like a protein shake or something. I'm going to try the white one next. Mm. Tastes exactly the same as the pink one. I don't even really know why they have two different colors. But that's that's mochi for you. It's just kind of plain, kind of snotty. This one's powdery. I hate it. <laughs> Following their strangely milk-related theme, we've got some Kalpis gummies, which we've had before on uh, these unboxings. And they're basically little gummies that are kind of milk-flavored. They're supposed to be. Um, it shows them inside of a glass, of, or maybe that's just showing the glass of milk. I guess you wouldn't put it in a glass of milk. Um, <laughs> but it's supposed to have like a gooey inside, and it's supposed to be milk flavored. Let's give it a shot. If I could, this package didn't open right. They're very similar, sorta, of, to the last gummies that we had, except they're pure white, and they're covered with like a powdered sugar, more than uh, the other ones are. So there it is. Let's eat it. it. smells like, um, like a Sprite or a 7-Up. Does not smell like milk. Mm -hmm. The taste of it is very much like a Sprite or a 7-Up, like it, like it smells. The, um, the top part is like gooey-ish, like it's, it's definitely soft, and then the bottom is definitely hard. So it's sort of, that's the soft part and then the, the solid part, um, it tastes like Sprite or 7-Up or one of those other sort of um, carbonated drinks like that. But definitely not milk taste. Def Unless Sprite is milk flavored. 
is Sprite Milk flavored. We have Thomas and Friends Pocky Sticks, but they're not Pocky brand. They're just Thomas and Friends pretzel sticks. I don't really know why um, Thomas is in here. I didn't know Thomas was even in Japan, I'll be honest with you. They look very much like Pocky already, um, so I know that that's what they're kind of going to be like. Just try one, I guess. Wow. Yeah, they're Pocky. But a little bit smaller and a little bit more pretzel-y, like it looks like a pretzel stick rather than like a Pocky stick would. But um, I don't know why, like, this has nothing to do with Thomas at all, the Thomas the Tank Engine. But I guess it's appealing to little, little kids. More so than like a Pocky Brazilian Orange might be. So there you go. It's like a Pocky stick. Ha ha ha! And Pan Man! I know who that is. I grew up reading An Pan Man. I know that it's a Japanese children's manga type of thing. But for some reason my school had An Pan Man uh, manga in it. Um, so when I was really little even, uh, I used to read An Pan Man and how he was created and all the crime fighting he would do. And now I get to have, what is this? Just a Ramune candy. It smells like Ramune even without opening the package. It's very, very strong, almost a grapey kind of flavor to it is what I think. I see different colors inside. You can't really tell that there are any different colors with the camera, but um, there's like a purple-ish white and a yellowish white. And um, they're supposed to be Ramune flavored, so let's just pop them in my mouth and see what happens. Hmm. They're like any of those kinds of chalk candies. So in Canada, we have uh, rockets. In the United States, you guys have Smarties. Um, not quite sure what they're called elsewhere, but basically, even if you've had those Valentine's candy hearts, sort of similar in taste to that. Um, they're just hard, powdery candy, but very good. I like that Ramonade flavor, so I'm enjoying these quite a bit. And it actually has a twist top so that you can turn it and close it to get access to your candy. I don't know, handy little pack. And because it has An Pan Man, I give this a 10 out of 10. Himitsu no Kokotama. It's upside down. Kokotama. They're cookies, I think. Yeah, it shows like a little heart cookie or something like this. Apparently this is an anime that's very popular right now. I know nothing about it. It looks like Hamtaro to me. But uh, they're like little egg creatures or something. Basically Pokemon, if you ask me. It comes with some kind of a, a little thing with it. Maybe this is a collector's card or maybe this is a syrup for it I don't know it's really attached I'm like I'm gonna burst this package everywhere okay what is this if it was collectible it's broken now it is collectible sticker so there we go look at me the target audience once again with this Himitsu no Kokotama sticker <laughs> anyway that's ruined. So let's try the biscuits. I actually thought they'd be more like a cookie, but no, these are more like a cereal puff. Like, they look like little puffed cereal things. They are heart-shaped. You can kind of tell. Look at that. Sort of heart-shaped. Um, they're supposed to be strawberry flavored. They smell like nothing, but... Tastes like Captain Crunch cereal. <laughs> like, honestly, this is Captain Crunch. Captain Crunch in heart shapes. That is weird. But I could actually see myself like putting this in milk and then eating it like that, having a strawberry milk cereal. That would be pretty good, wouldn't it? Okay. That is what it appears to be. Like, if what you think this is, it is. This is a DIY toilet kit. I'm not even kidding you. It's Moko Moko Mokore Toilet. <laughs> You make a toilet with this, and then I guess eat the foam inside. What is this trying to teach kids? Why would they like the idea of this? Who in marketing said, you know what? 
We should make a toilet and then make kids eat out of it. It'll be hilarious for us. And they're gonna buy it. Package comes with powders. Check. Toilet. Check. Straw to drink out of the toilet. Why? Oh, well, of course, no toilet is complete without the eyes, flames, dagger, ninja star, and Japanese flag. Because that's... Mount Fuji. Yeah, it's great. Great toilet. I know my toilet has all of those things on it. I might actually... I'm going to put these eyes on my real toilet, and then we'll see what happens. Very few things in my life do I say, I'm too old for this. But... Building a toilet so that I can eat out of it. I must be too old for this. There's my toilet. <laughs> It is, um, well, it is a toilet, and it looks like you can actually put the stuff inside of the tank, and then it'll, like, mix through and then come out through the bowl or something. Not sure, I haven't read the instructions yet, but I'm about to find out. So, it may have gotten away from me, the water, a little bit, because now it's, like, really overflowing. That is not, like, plastic at the top, that is a layer of, like, foam residue of whatever flavor I picked. I picked the green one, so I guess apple. Here's my straw, here's my toilet, let's go. Why? Why is this happening in my life? Wow, that is extraordinarily sour. Very sour. It's like drinking pure sourness. Now I'm thinking I didn't add enough water, but it was filled to the brim with water. So I'm not sure, but it's really super sour, this green one. And it doesn't taste very good to me. Like, it's not sweet, it's just sort of a bittery sour. So not a favorite of mine. I tried it, though. Cheers to you. Hello there. We've got a Marutake peach drink. So this should be interesting. It's sort of soft, it feels like. Did you guys see that? Look, it's like pinky peach. I'm not sure. But it's like one of those, I've had these growing up, similar, where you freeze them. And then once you've frozen them, then you kind of like drink them out of the top. So I think what I'm probably going to do, I'll try just a little bit. But I might actually go back and then freeze this, just like in my own personal time. Go and freeze this and try it frozen because that's how they have them here in Canada. Maybe that's how they have them in Japan too. I don't want to just have like a plain old unfrozen drink when it's supposed to be frozen, but I'll try it now. Oh, it's already spilling everywhere, so bottoms up. Mm. It's weirdly peach flavored. I don't often associate peach with the color pink, but it's definitely peach flavored, very mild, and would definitely be better frozen. Um, I think even the instructions said would be best frozen. So I mean, I would recommend freezing this before trying it. It's not really giving me any enjoyment being uh, just a plain liquid like this. I might just go try to freeze it after. Hmm. Yeah. Yokai Watch Chocolate. Um, another anime that I really don't know very much about. This is what? Pel Pelotti? Pel Perotti? Whatever it is. It's chocolate and it's from Yokai Watch. So let's try it. It can't be bad. I've had these kinds of candy before. That took far too long to open. Anyway, here it is in all of its uh, adorable glory. Now let's try it. The Japanese seem to love these chocolate on a stick things. Mm. Okay, so we've got something called Black Thunder Gold. Now this is apparently one of the most popular chocolate bars in all of Japan. Black Thunder Gold. I'm not entirely sure why it would be the most popular, but I guess we're about to find out. So it looks like just about any other chocolate bar that you would find anywhere. 
Hmm. Hmm. Definitely got sort of a dark chocolatey taste to it, but it's mostly wafer. And I'm actually really liking that. It's sort of like a... If you were to take a crunch bar, if you know what a crunch bar is like, and then like thickening it like this much. Um, so it's very good, actually. I quite enjoy this. And I can see why it's one of the most popular ones. The black thunder gold. Yeah. I like it. We've got another Thomas and Friends. Because that is apparently our theme today. And this is, it looks like gum, but it's not gum. It's one of those things again. Because as you know, it is impolite to spit out gum in Japan. So they get around that by making very chewy candies. And they come in little gum-like packages. So they each come with their own little design on them. All with uh, different Thomas Tank Engine characters. Let's just pick a random one from the middle. You would be very hard pressed to believe this is not gum, but it shouldn't be. It's grape flavored, smells like it, looks like it. Let's try it. Very chewy. Which you would expect from a gum like candy, but it's not gum. It's just extraordinarily chewy, like a toffee type of thing times 10. Like it's really, really almost hard for your teeth to sink into. Well, the last item in this box, it looks like a little kind of a chip shrimp ring type of thing and it's Dragon Ball Z Hero Snack Go and I don't know it's like maybe shrimp chips it comes with a little collector card too so let's check that out first oh yeah I've got Vegeta Super Saiyan and uh, it's a little collector card that we get so this is kind of cool this is sort of a nice little feature to add to any kind of a chip candy type of thing comes with different stats power levels and whatnot HP very cool for any Dragon Ball fan out there now on to the actual product itself it smells like salt and vinegar chips might um, if you ever had salt and vinegar flavored chips or french fries even for that matter sort of the smell that it gives off let's try one no nope. It's like a cheese flavor of some kind. It smelled like salt and vinegar, but it's more of a... Maybe like a cheese smell now. Because it's definitely cheese flavored. Very salty, vinegary, cheesy. Yeah. But it's definitely like a cheese flavor. Um, so kind of like a Cheeto, but weird shaped. Like a letter C? I don't know. Either way, that was the end of the Tokyo Treat. You can check them out at tokyotreat.com and this may be the last one that I do so I hope you guys enjoyed it hope you guys enjoyed the series check out the other unboxing videos in the channel playlist we'll see you guys on the flip side bye bye